Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, February 18th, 2024. Today's episode comes to you from the Trem River here in Kamao Province. This gentleman behind me is Yang, my wife's cousin. He owns this boat we're on and was kind enough to give me a tour of the section of the river that literally sits in front of his house. And while on vacation, I'll be releasing episodes every Wednesday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 797, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. And because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, amidst a snowstorm of love and love endures, get their opening Topan ratings. Elaine Chung and Terry Ho go public with their real-to-real -real relationship. Dylan Wang scores a record high points for a Chinese celebrity at this year's NBA Celebrity Game. And Bai Ting Ting receives flack after his performance at the Spring Festival Gala. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. And we usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today in the past three days. In fact, there's only been one or two drama premieres in the past week or so, probably on account of the Lunar New Year. But The Legend of Shen Li did release a music video recently. It is the drama's ending theme song, and it was shared on Valentine's Day. It's titled Ru Chu, or As Before, and is performed by Zhang Bichen, who also did the theme songs for other dramas like Eternal Love, Princess Agents, and Till the End of the Moon. Generally speaking, the release of a music video is a good indication that a premiere date is coming soon. I updated a couple of weeks ago that the Xian Xia drama is rumored to premiere in early March. Next up, opening Topan ratings. I have three for you guys today. Starting with Judge D's Mystery, the costume drama starring Zhou Yiwei and Claudia Wang. It opened with an average score of 5.7 from around 22,600 ratings. Amidst a snowstorm of love, the modern drama starring Liu Wu and Angel Zhao opened with a 6.9 from around 43,700 ratings. And Love Endures, the modern drama starring Yang Zi and Fan Chengcheng, opened with a 7.2 from around 103,000 ratings. As always, when dramas get their opening Topan ratings, I ask those who followed or are still following any of these dramas, what do you think about their scores? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it for drama updates, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with the lead cast of Sword and Fairy, Xu Kai and Esther Yu. The Xianxia drama Sword and Fairy premiered on January 18th and made the last of their 36 episodes available for VIP members on February 5th. On the day, female lead Esther Yu took to Weibo with this long message and a video. Among some of the things she wrote, she explained the story behind her character's name, Yue Qi. The 28-year-old actress also touched on Yue Qi's relationship with Jing Chao, Xu Kai's character. Quote, the relationship between Jing Zhao and Qi is not just love, indeed, they exist for each other. Unquote. Additionally, she shared another shorter message saying, In a parallel world, Qi is free, peaceful, happy, and eternally joyful. The last of the drama's 36 episodes were made available for everyone on February 13th. On the day, male lead Xu Kai shared this short video clip. No matter what happened in the past, my life is in my own hands. I don't believe in fate, the 28-year-old actor asserted. I only believe in the sword in my hand and the people I have around me. Yue Jingzhao, here we say goodbye. Sword and Fairy was number one on viewing and popularity charts for a couple of weeks. It currently has an average score of 5.0 from around 40,800 ratings on Douban. Next up for celebrity updates, Elaine Chung and Terry Ho made their real-to-real -real relationship public. On Valentine's Day, the 30-year-old actress and 33-year-old actor took to Weibo with a batch of photos and captioned them simply with girl and boy emojis. The announcement was met with many fans congratulating the couple for their newfound happiness. Interestingly, this comment was top on Elaine's comment thread and second on Terry's with almost 60,000 likes. It says, I dare not imagine how the hotel bed will suffer. Anyway, the two actors were in the recently aired family drama Born to Run. In it, she is a dancer who loses her legs in a car accident. 
He is a former dance genius who now helps her return to the stage. In September last year, the two were photographed holding hands while visiting the zoo. They were also spotted working out together many times and traveling together to Thailand, hence rumors started flying about them being a couple. Since they made their relationship public, the two were photographed walking casually as they arrived at an airport in China after traveling abroad. Next up for our celebrity updates, Dylan Wang made an appearance at the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. Held on February 16th in Indiana, the game featured a wide array of celebrities ranging from the worlds of music, sports, film, and more. Dylan was part of Shannon Sharp's team. He took the floor for 21 minutes and got 18 points, which is a record high for a Chinese celebrity in the event. Three rebounds and one assist, not bad at all. His team, Team Shannon, beat Team Stephen A 100-91. After the game, he was interviewed and said, I'm happy, I'm excited. It was a bit of a shame though, just two points shy of 20. And I also made a few mistakes on the court because maybe I was a bit nervous, but I am very satisfied and happy. Basketball is a passionate hobby of mine. It's always in my life. Thank you to my compatriots in China for supporting me. Lastly now for celebrity updates, here's the Bai Ting Ting story that trended number one on Weibo when it was first reported. On February 9th, Bai Ting Ting, Wei Dashun, and Wei Chen took the stage to perform the song Shang Chun Shan or Going Up Spring Mountain for CCTV Spring Festival Gala. The three of them stepped onto a podium which looked like it represented the titular Spring Mountain and Bai Ting Ting, who stood on the peak, started singing. When he was done his part, Wei Dashun took over the singing. And when Wei Daoxun was done his part, both Bai Jingting and Wei Daoxun walked down the other side while Wei Chen stepped onto the peak and sang his part. While this might have seemed perfectly fine to many, it triggered a discussion online, with some netizens accusing Bai Jingting of hogging the limelight and occupying the center position. In the comment section of a selfie Bai Jingting posted later, the top netizen comment which was liked 49,000 times read, your position at the Spring Festival Gala made you lose fans. Turns out, you really don't have good character. The second comment read, Are you afraid others won't remember you? Is the stage empty? To further make Bai Jingting look bad, this rehearsal video popped up online and shows Bai Jingting or whoever was standing in for him sliding over to let Wei Daxun or whoever was standing in for him sing on the peak. However, in another rehearsal video, Bai Jingting and Wei Daoxun's positions are exactly as they are in the final performance, prompting arguments that Bai Jingting did exactly as rehearsed. While this video may have quelled some of Bai Jingting's stage position controversy, it also brought up a different one. Because his outfit was white and different from the black one he wore on the day, netizens accused him of secretly changing his outfit to get attention. At one point, there was so much discussion on his stage position and outfit, he trended number one on Weibo. On the other side of the coin, however, there were some who felt this was all much ado about nothing. Some said it was incredible how netizens could drum up such a huge controversy from an innocuous performance like that. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 211, February 18th, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Youku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, 19th Floor, the modern drama stars Sun Tian and Miles Wei. 
Number 9. Amidst a Snowstorm of Love, the modern drama stars Leo Wu and Angel Zhao. Number 8. My Boss, the modern drama stars Chen Xingxu and Zhang Ronan. Number 7. The Last Immortal, the costume drama stars Zhao Lusi and Wang Anyu. Number 6. Sword and Fairy 4, the costume drama stars Xu Jingyi and Chen Zheyuan. Number 5. The Happy Seven and Chang'an, the costume drama stars Ma Tianyu and Bu Guanjing. Number 4. Sweet Trap, the modern drama stars Xie Bingbing and Zhang Miaoyi. Number 3. Fighting for Love, the costume drama stars Crystal Zhang and Zhang Haowei. Number 2. Sword and Fairy, the costume drama stars Xu Kai and Esther Yu. And number 1. Country Love 16, the modern drama stars Zhao Penshan and Tang Junjun. Country Love 16 is champion for the first time since its premiere, it garnered 457 points. What I need to mention here is that for some reason, two days into the week and V-Linkage recategorized Amidst a Snowstorm of Love as a TV drama. So it got two days worth of points as a web drama and five days as a TV drama. Hence, it didn't place very high in either. Had it just stayed in one category, it would have topped it with 588 points. Alright, next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Scout Hero, the retro drama stars Luo Qing and Sandra Ma. Number 9, Like a Flowing River Season 3, the modern drama stars Wang Kai and Yang Shuo. Number 8, Islands, the modern drama stars Xu Fan and Sandra Ma. Number 7, Love and Dears, the modern drama stars Yang Zi and Fan Cheng Cheng. Number 6, A Soldier's Story, the retro drama stars Jiang Long and Shi Chi. Number 5, Amidst a Snowstorm of Love, the modern drama stars Liu Wu and Angel Zhao. Number 4, Blossoms Shanghai, the retro drama stars Hu Ge and Mai Li. Number 3, Judge D's Mystery, the costume drama stars Zhou Yiwei and Claudia Wang. Number 2, Growing Together, the modern drama stars Zhang Jiayi and Chen Hao. And number 1, Always on the Move, the retro drama stars Bai Jingting and Ding Yongdai. Always on the Move ends the week with 576 points, making it champion for the first time since its premiere. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week and I'll see you guys Wednesday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.